the Harley Race is starting this company called World Legion Wrestling. I'm going to get you on for an opportunity. You know what I mean? Just because I'm not promising nothing, but you, you know, I'll get you booked on this. So I uh, went to Springfield and uh, I met Harley for the first time in a Super 8 motel while he was downstairs <laughs> in the lobby. Gordon Soley on one side, Fifth of Vodka and Harley. And they're oh my God. Table, putting together the card for the next night. And, wow. Uh, wow. They had all wow. those young guys lined up. And they were literally picking out jobbers, basically, to fill yeah. in the TV spots. And uh, yeah. Harley's looking up and down, and he looks at me, and he goes, do you have a license? <laughs> and uh, That's a yes, great sir. Harley, by the That's way. Great. I got a story. I got a Harley Trevor's story. Trevor's got a great <laughs> Harley. <laughs> Maybe um, the best. And uh, I said, yes, sir. And he goes, you're going to be wrestling Greg the Hammer Valentine. Tomorrow night. <laughs> that's Harley. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I closed my yes, eyes. It's Harley. <laughs> and uh, so the next night, we're putting the show, the match together, and Greg was being very gracious, going to let me get a drop kick. He wasn't going to bump for. I was just so excited, you know. And, uh -huh. and uh, we get the match together, and we go right up to the curtain, and Harley's in the gorilla position, and Greg and I are going over the match, and we're done. And Harley looks over, pulls his headphones back, and he goes, Valentine. The kid doesn't get shit. And Greg looks at me and goes, you heard him. I go, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> and I proceeded to get Thank my you, ass sir, may I have another six minutes. Just <laughs> yeah. forearms across the chest. I mean, just yeah. pummeled me. You know, young yeah. guy, I loved every minute of it. You know what I mean? Right. I was stoked. Uh, right. Came back a couple weeks later to get a another job or spot, you know, just whatever. Uh, wrestled my brother in a dark match. And then after that, Harley's like, hey, listen, I'm opening up a wrestling school. Would you like to be one of the first guys a part of it? And I was like, hell yeah, I would. Yeah. And um, I was living in St. Louis, making working for JS Albarisi Welding, make $25 an hour. And the referee that that my brother and I brought into business actually moved down there immediately to help Harley get the school opened and started. Yeah. And uh, I said, you get me a job and a place to live, man. And I'll be down there. And three weeks later, I got a call. He said he had a job and a place to live for me. I went for making $25 an hour. Now we're talking, this is 1999 boys, $25 yeah. an hour. We're, that's mm -hmm. bank. Yeah. Living with <clears throat> living with my mother, who I just rekindled a relationship with after like eight or nine years in, in the like the, the full I had a full whole floor in her house. So mm -hmm. I was living, you know, basically by myself. I yeah. traded all that in to make four seventy five an hour doing landscaping to live in a in a two bedroom house with six people and sleep on the living room floor so I could bump <laughs> in a boxing ring because we hadn't bought a wrestling ring yet. <laughs> right. All right. Just yeah. so I could trade for Harley Race. And for the yeah. first three months, I puked every single mm. day. Because he would push and push and push. And we'd have other students come in there, and they would just, they'd die out. You know, they, they, they'd wait at least two days. You know what I mean? They'd be like, oh, the first yeah. day was hard. But the second day, they'd usually quit halfway in. But I would, I would get sick, go out, take the water bucket, throw it on the puke, and then run back in and catch up on my calisthenics. Yeah, and, and Harley just—he loved that shit. It wasn't, you know. Of course, I made it behind, but I never right. gave up. Right, you know what I mean. Right, and just like after a while, my body got used to the the trauma and the, the training, and I stopped sure. getting sick, and you know, we're off to the races. <laughs> yeah, well, it's amazing what the human body will will do if you will it to do it. Yeah, um, and. It, you know, Harley being the, the guy that he was, and that is definitely like this, this bygone era, but talk about the way that, you know, you earned his respect by not being perfect or not being great, but being like double tough and not like, it's not that you didn't throw up, you did, but it's that you came back. His well, and his biggest like when he would look at guys because we would, we would see guys come into that school and look over at Harley and be like, he ain't gonna make it. He'd be like, mm -hmm. just wait. He was a really great judge of character when it came to guys with heart. He right. always believed like if the guy's got a heart and he's got some some sort of he got balls. You know yeah. what I mean? That 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 yeah. jumps and he could he could work with that. He could mold that. He could make that. Yeah 
into something. But when yep. you've got a guy who's, as soon as it gets hard, and he starts making excuses of, yeah. oh, man, my old hip injury, or, right, or like, right. you know, man, I'm just not feeling it today. And, you know, he'd look at you and go, there's going to be days, son, that you're going to have to go out there and wrestle. That you're you're going to be sick. You're going to be yeah. dog. You're going to be shitting yourself right before you go out. But you're going to have yeah. to go out there and perform, young man. Yeah. yeah. So if you're going to bitch and whine about this, well, you certainly yeah. aren't going to make it. And he certainly didn't want to have his stamp on your back. No. Because you know how guys are. They come in for a couple weeks and yes. and then they, oh, I was trained by Harley Race. And yeah. I would love to meet those guys like six months down the road somewhere else. Oh, I was tra- really? Where, yeah. Where, how, how long were you there? Oh, yeah. well, you know, I was, I had to bounce in. And I, okay. All right. I, I know. <laughs> yeah. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's a I, badge of honor. 